The NBC4i team was the first to bring you the story of a music producer who says he was the victim of racial profiling, thrown to the ground and then arrested by LAPD officers in Hollywood. Now, one month after our original story aired, a federal judge has allowed us to show you the police body cam video that captured what happened. Here's our investigative reporter, Eric Leonard. Turn around for me. This is the newly unsealed LAPD footage that shows what happened on May 24th, 2019. Turn around because I told you to turn around. When officers stopped, grabbed, and struggled with producer and recording studio owner Anton Austin on Fountain Avenue in Hollywood. Turn around. Man, what is your problem, dude? A federal judge okayed the use of this video Friday after it was kept under wraps by a court order at the city of LA's request for months. Austin's demand to know why he was being stopped that day turned physical seconds later. What, what are you doing? Now? Stop. Austin. Austin told me last month when he asked repeatedly why he was being grabbed, he was met with more force from the two uniformed officers. They pushed me back up against the wall again. Boom, this time harder. And they're trying to put my hands behind my back. I started yelling for help. Oh, stop, help as you can see in the video, Austin is black, and the man police were after turned out to be white. As Austin yelled for help, neighbors called 911, and that sent more officers to the scene only a few blocks from the LAPD's Hollywood station. Austin and his girlfriend Michelle were both arrested. Nearly two years later, no charges have been filed. They've sued the LAPD because Austin told me he wouldn't have been treated this way if he looked like me. And if they thought you were the guy, I feel like they would have had a conversation with you. They wouldn't just immediately have thought about slapping so, cuffs on your so body and, and pushing you up against a dirty garage, slamming you on the concrete. The body camera video also captured the officers as they arrived at Austin's apartment, unsure of who they were looking for, but as alleged in the lawsuit, assuming it was Austin. <laughs> which Austin's lawyer explained is the entire focus of the case. It is a big deal. A person's dignity is a big deal. A person should not have to go through what he had to go through just because he's an African-American male. The body camera video also captures one officer's off-camera acknowledgement moments after the struggle that Austin was the wrong man. Because we got the wrong guy. Now, even after police at the scene that day realized Austin wasn't involved in the original crime report, he and his girlfriend were booked in jail. They had to spend thousands of dollars to post bail, and they still have the threat of criminal charges hanging over their heads. His lawsuit is moving towards a trial later this year. The LAPD has declined to comment on the events that day, saying it has a policy against discussing incidents that are the subject of ongoing lawsuits. The city attorney has said in court papers that Austin and his girlfriend were to blame for what happened. Reporting Live, I'm investigative reporter Eric Leonard, NBC4 News. Back to you.